preserved and it's uh, uh, available to everybody. So, so all these documents are public knowledge, public, publicly available. And so I looked at the docket um, this morning and there were no filings. But it doesn't mean that nothing is happening. Things are happening in the background. Things are happening in Congress. Things are happening in the public discourse. And um, I'd like Anna to um, explain to us what has been going on this past week. Anna. Sure. Um, well, I, hello to everybody. Before I go into what happened this week, I'm going to make a little summary for those of us, for those of you that don't know what is uh, this lawsuit about. Uh, this is a lawsuit with 18 plaintiffs and targeted justice as uh, a 501c3 entity human rights organization it, that uh, was filed on January 11th of 2023, and it, it asked for a lot of remedies, but the principal remedies it asked for is for the elimination of what we call the McCarthy Blacklist, which is that section, which is the majority of the names in the Terry Screening database, which people re colloquially refer to as a watch list, uh, but that's an inaccurate uh, statement, watch list for terrorists. Uh, so the targeted justice and these 18 plaintiffs have requested that their names be removed because they have no ties to terrorism and they were included in there for um, nefarious purposes. And the second part, which is really important of this lawsuit, is that uh, we've asked for a national injunction for those names to not, uh, the non-investigated subjects to be removed from the terror screening database and all those lists that have been disseminated that now we know the number of stamps at around 74,000 um, corporate entities and law enforcement, tribal, federal, state law enforcement to be recalled so that no more government defamation and violation of the Privacy Act continues happening against non-investigative subjects. So that's basically the gist of the complaint, and they, they are alleging personal, you know, individual damages, but that's what concerns everyday Americans, because today you're leading a normal life, and as we're going to talk about, uh, the, what the whistleblowers testified in, in, uh, before Congress, and then tomorrow you can be labeled a domestic terrorist, and you will be placed in this list, and the consequences are, are absolutely horrible. Um, so, even though this week, and now going to the update, okay, even though this week nothing really happened in the docket, and I want to also, for the people that uh, don't, you know, that can't have a patient account or, or don't want to pay for it, we are, uh, in Thank <laughs> you. 